Hi everyone, this is Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to draw front elevation of single room soft drawing in AutoCAD. So don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon to never miss any updates. So let's get started. So this is the flow plan which I have already created in my previous video. And now I'll create the front elevation of this flow plan. So first of all, I'll use line command. So L enter. L is the circuit key of line command. So L enter. Now specify first point here and second point here. Now consider this line as ground level. Now what is ground level? Surface level of the ground is known as ground level. Now I'm taking print level height 6 inch from ground level. Okay. So print le ground level to print level height is 6 inch. So give offset. Give offset distance 6 inch. Now select the ground level line and click on upper direction. And this is the plinth level. Now what is plinth level? The portion of a structure between the surface of the surrounding ground and surface of the floor immediately above the ground is known as plinth level. Okay. So this is the ground level and this is the plinth level. This is the plinth height is 6 inch. Now come to the plan. Now I'll I'll take you know, this wall projection. So XL, XL means construction line. Now I need vertical line. So B for vertical. Now click here and click here. Okay. Now I'll draw the plinth projection that is 6 inch. So give offset. Give offset distance 6 inch. Now select this line. Click to this side. Select this line. And click to this side. Now I will trim all the extra lines. Trim. Select this. Trim all the extra lines. See I am showing you very slowly. So that it will be easy to understand. Okay. And trim all the extra lines. So this is the plinth height, ground level and plinth level. This is 6 inch plinth projection. This is plinth height 6 inch. Okay. Now this is ground level. And this is plinth level. Okay. Now I'll trim extra lines here. Okay, now copy the text. If you want to create new text, you can also create ground level. You can copy this and this is plain level. PA. Select, go to properties, right click, go to properties, change the height 9 inch. Okay, now I'll do match properties with this. Okay, alright. Now, I'll create the roof slab, that is 10 feet and 6 inch from plinth level, means I'm taking building height 10 feet and 6 inch. So, give offset, this is the plinth level. Okay, so give offset, give offset distance 10 feet and 6 inch. Now select the plinth level and click on upper direction. Now roof slab thickness is 4 inch, so give offset again, give offset distance 4 inch. Select this line and click on upper direction. Now this is 6 inch. Okay, now Join both the sides. This is roof slab projection 6 inch. If you don't want to create the roof slab projection, you can omit this step. Okay. This is the roof slab projection 6 inch and roof slab thickness 4 inch. And this is building height 10 feet and 6 inch. 
this is roof slab thickness 4 inch okay now I'll create the linton slab linton slab is 7 feet from pins level so give offset give offset distance 7 feet now select the pins level line and click on upper direction now linton slab thickness is 3 inch again offset give offset distance 3 inch select this line and click on upper direction okay now this is the shutter door i need to create the shutter door so first i'll create the window charger you can see the charger here on front elevation so excel press v for vertical click here now extend the lintel slab towards this charger ex enter select this line and extend this line okay now trim all the extra lines okay now come to the plan i'll create the sorted door so take excel v for vertical line now click here and click here okay so sorted door size is 8 feet into 7 feet height Okay, so take a rectangle, 8 feet into 7 feet height. Okay, so this is 8 feet. Okay, so height is already 7 feet here. So I just simply create a rectangle here. First point here, second point here. Okay, this is 8 feet into 7 feet height. Door is created. Okay. Now trim this line. Okay. Now trim the extra lines. Offset key offset distance 3 inch. Select click inside. Okay. This is the sorted door. Now trim the extra lines here. Alright. So this is the door and the charger is created. Now I'll create the wooden showcase. Okay. So Give offset, give offset distance 1 feet and 6 inch. This is the bar under slope. Select, click to this side, select, click to this side, select, click to this side. This is the bar under slope. Now extend this line, and this line. Now and enter. Now this is my cut and this is 6 inch close this with this point again 6 inch and close this with this point this is the bar under slope okay now trim the extra lines offset of 3 inch first okay Now we need to trim the extra lines. Here I am not creating any parapet wall. As this is a single room soft drawing. Single room soft and single floor. So I am not creating any parapet wall here. Okay. So trim this. Parapet wall is completely not necessary here. Okay. So I am not creating any parapet wall. So this is the barunda slope. Now I'll hatch this. E art. This is art. 25 at pick point. Click inside. Enter. Okay. Now this is the bounder slope is created. Now I'll create the wooden circus. This is the bounder slope. 
this uh, this baranda is created with cantilever beam okay now this is the wooden surface I need to create this wooden surface of Excel. View. Now click here. We can see this much. We can't see this much length. Okay. So we can see till here. Okay. Okay. We can see in front elevation. We can see the wooden surface till here. Okay, give offset, give offset distance 3 feet. 3 feet is the height of the wooden surface. This is the standard size. Okay. So give uh, now take a rectangle, first point here and second point here. And delete these two lines. Okay. Now I'll hatch this. Hatch enter. one at this point click inside enter okay so this is the wooden surface okay so this is the let's make this two scale okay you can see the surface this much see only this much okay here wall is here so due to wall we can't see the complete socket so we can see only this much okay so this is the front elevation okay this is the shutter door this is the wooden so wooden socket okay dimension linear this is 3 feet height. Okay. This is the charger. This is the window in the charger. We can see the charger from front elevation. This is the veranda slope. This is the roof slab. Okay. So copy this. This is front elevation. So this is the front elevation of single room soft drawing. Okay, this is ground level and this is plinth level. Ground level to plinth level height is 6 inch. Okay, this is this complete height is 10 feet and 10, 10 inch, building height is 10 feet and 6 inch and 4 inch roof slab, total 10 feet and 10 inch, okay, building height is here to plinth level, this is 10 feet and 6 inch and roof slab, roof slab thickness is 4 inch, okay, alright, now this is Baranda slope that is 1 feet and 6 inch. This is 7 feet. Door height or lintel slab height. Okay, this is Zaza. Okay, this is the wooden socket 6 feet into 3 feet and height is 3 feet. You can see only this much due to wall. We can't see the complete wooden socket. We can see only this much. Okay. So this is the front elevation of single room soft drawing. Okay. So hope you like this video. And if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.